Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys today, before we even talk about makeup, let's just talk about how we are on week two of Paige is trying to figure out a new magical setup that she actually likes. So, we were over there, I didn't like the lighting, it just wasn't my favorite, so now we have migrated to this wall with a different light and a different setup and all the new things. So, you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think. Again, we just got a little, little twinkle action happening, and you know, I think I like it, just like judging by the viewfinder, I think I like this one a little bit better, but again, I want to hear from you guys down below. Now diving into today's video, I am super excited because I was on the Alta website, which like <laughs> where I always am, and um, I might have been perusing their new affordable makeup, and I stumbled upon so, so many new things, like brands I've never heard of, never played with, um, just inexpensive stuff from other brands, and I was like, girl, we need to sit down, we need to do a full face, or pretty much a full face, of new makeup under 10 bucks. Like, I'm ecstatic for this. Now there are maybe one or two items that are $10 on the nose, and then one item that is $11, and I I wasn't gonna do that item but like I just couldn't help myself like I really wanted to play with it so just indulge me a little bit because other than that we have a bunch of stuff again all under ten dollars and I'm real excited so let's go ahead and get started with a couple of items I have talked about before so we can kind of buzz through those and the first one is actually going to be this little guy right here this is from iHeart Revolution it is their coconut dream hydrating primer and I did use this in I think it was a full face of what's new with makeup revolution I'll link it up here um, but I did use this before on camera and it's actually a really nice little primer it reminds me a lot of the one from um, Too Faced, their Hangover RX primer. That's what it reminds me of. Also, guess who just realized she needs to clip her hair back? Like, it is my biggest pet peeve when I see people try to put makeup on with their hair in their face, and I'm like, what is bothering me so much? Like, Paige, really get it together. Yes, I am such a beauty influencer. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and give myself a little spritz with this right here. This is the Catrice Hydrating Prime and Care Spray. And um, I haven't used this in a while on my channel, but it's $7.99 on the Ulta website. Now for today, I'm going for like a really nice light kind of hydrated look on the skin. Not super full coverage. I want like a nice eye look. Um, really just overall kind of bright, dewy, and more like a daily kind of look versus a super intense like, wow, let's just layer ourselves up in makeup. And I thought for today's video, this would be a perfect fit for that. And it is the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. This is $10. And I actually picked up a new shade because my other one was way too pale. So this is in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just going to take my Dose of Color sponge and I am going to work this all over the skin and give myself a nice little medium coverage. All right guys, so I have it all applied and let me just tell you, I have not played with this in so long because it came out during the found explosion of 2019 and a lot of you guys are actually probably here from all of my foundation reviews, but this is so beautiful. Like it has the most light natural glow to it. And it just looks so beautiful on my skin right now. So moving on from here, we have this new concealer from JCat. This is their Stay Surgeons Concealer. It says that it is water sealed, zero smudge, and it is available in 16 shades for $7.99. Girl, she is a thick little one. All right, so this one right here is the shade Vanilla Bean. And then this one right next to it is actually the shade Buff. You can, this right here, there's like a big glob of my foundation left, but this is the Buff shade. And these look nothing like what they look like on the internet. So just keep that in mind. If if you would have purchased these. Um, it looks to me like the shade range is way off, but I'm going to take the shade Vanilla Bean and I'm going to try putting this under the eye. Oh, I kind of like this little applicator. Can you guys see that? It's like a really pointed doe foot, like the kind that you could use to get really precise. I'm only going to apply the one side first because I want to see how it blends out. All right, so that blended out pretty nicely. It is a little bit more on the matte side than what I was expecting. Um, I know that for what they spec'd it out as, like I expected it to be a little bit matte, but this is literally like dry down almost instantly and really stick there, but it doesn't look like crusty or cakey or anything like that yet, which is kind of exciting. Um, Cause I think for me at least, anytime I play around with stuff like this, that's always the deal breaker. And I don't know, I like it. It's really, really nice. The shade is actually good for brightening up my under eye, which is good. Um, I just, I'm like nervous about the matte aspect of this. Okay, now to go ahead and start setting the face, I really want to pack in under the eyes first. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is a really nice finely milled powder, um, very similar to like the Jeffree Star consistency that I've been using lately or the Fenty. Um, they're all really finely milled like that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my Marc Jacobs The Conceal Brush and I am going to gently pack and press that under the eye without overly applying it because I think this is a matte enough concealer. I'm doing the same thing right up here and I'm just going to set the little Hulk wrinkle on my forehead because y'all know she's a real crazy little girl. And then I'm also going to go in here and set down my T-zone. 
Now, real quick, before I set the rest of the face, I also wanted to play around with this little guy right here, and this is from a brand I have never played with. It's their Halika Halika. It's from Ulta, and it's $9. There are four different shades. I have the shade... Mm-hmm something. Everything in here I think is in Korean, but according to the Ulta app when I scanned it, I bought the shade Grapefruit Mix. So I think that's what we're going to go with, but I wanted to apply a little bit of this to the cheeks and to see how it looks. Again, $9 and it looks like it has one five-star rating and it's actually, it's a fingernail brush applicator too. Like how interesting is this? Whoa. And it's, oh, Okay, this is not a texture that I expected. Oh, wow, it actually feels really nice and hydrating. It does say on the bottle that this is a watercolor cheek, which explains how it really just like worked out into a very, very light flush of color. Um, but I really like that. Like it's soaked in completely. There's no weird residue or anything. Okay, let's give it a try. Um, I'm going to... I'm like really nervous to just apply this to my face. So I'm gonna just go in here with a little puddle on my hand. And then I'm gonna take my sponge here and just on the butt kind of tap into it and then go this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and build it up a little because obviously it is a, you know, like a watercolor kind of a buildable moment. Oh, all right, there we go, okay. So now that I build it up a little bit, you can see it. I don't know how well you guys can see it in this lighting, but like I can see it and it's really pretty. I love that it has a nice amount of like light hydration kind of to it. Like it gives my cheek a little glow and it's not messing up my foundation, which is really, really nice. Now with that all applied, I'm going to go in and give my face just a little spray before I set it. This is something I've been really enjoying lately. So I'm gonna grab, this is something, nothing new to you guys, I use it all the time, but I'm just gonna take two little hits here of my Catrice um, Dewy Glow, just a little, little bit just to kind of prep the skin because I am going to very, very lightly set it with that um, Wet n Wild powder and I don't want there to be like any dryness for it to cling to. I'm just very, very lightly here gonna go in with a little bit of powder and like lightly set the rest of my face. Now with my face all set down, we're gonna go ahead and move into bronzer real quick and I picked up something that, it's not new at all, I just had never tried it and it's pretty inexpensive. So this is the CoverGirl bronzer here. I have the shade 104 Golden Tan and currently on the Ulta website, it says that it's normally $4.99. Um, while I'm filming this, it's on sale for $3.49. So no matter what, it looks to be pretty inexpensive. Um, yeah, it's definitely not new though. It has 43 reviews. <laughs> Well, it's new to Paige. All right, and then I'm just gonna lightly start hitting back here where I normally would, and I'm gonna, oh my God, why is that showing up so intense on camera? In real life, you literally can't hardly see it. Oh God, oh no, 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 okay. Let's just breathe through it, Paige, just breathe through it. Cause see, I don't feel like it looks awful. Like, I feel like, don't get me wrong, the lighting in here, I'm not exactly sure what you guys are seeing right now, but I don't feel like this looks that bad for as much shimmer as it has in it when I swatch it. That's just a really interesting formula. Like it's it's very much so something that when I swatched it, I thought I would hate. And now after applying it, I'm like, I mean, okay. Now for blush, I have another brand that I've never played with and that is this little guy right here. This is from Sweet and Shimmer and it is a little blush palette duo and it's only $2.99 and they had a ton of stuff on the Ulta website that they released. Ooh, these are actually really nice colors. The light pink one, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I really love this darker shade right here. This is like right up my alley. It's a little bit more pink than I would normally wear, but I really, really like the um, pigmentation on it and I like that it. you can actually kind of look at that. You can like blend it out. It looks like you can kind of work with it a little bit. All right. I think how I'm going to apply these is I'm actually just going to mix back and forth between the two. And I'm using my ColourPop brush here. And I'm just going to like very lightly kind of tap it on the cheeks a little. Give myself just a little bit of a flush. Oh yeah, that darker shade is definitely rich in pigment. So I think that kind of using the lighter shade to cut it back a little bit is a really good move. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to brows because your girl has got to do some brows. And for that today, I'm gonna be going in with this right here. This is from CoverGirl and it is their Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil and I am using the shade Rich Brown. Now, this is not a new pencil. Um, it's something that I just had in my collection and I still wanted it to stay on the drugstore side of things. So I went ahead, I picked this up and we're just gonna use it to real quickly define the brows on a slightly lighter scale. Um, and this does also retail for $8.99. Now, let's go ahead and move on to something that I am super 
super excited about. I was able to pick up a couple items from the Makeup Revolution Good Vibes collection, and this is something I've talked about. I wanted to test the whole thing. It came out right after I did my last Makeup Revolution video, and I was like, what am I going to do? Like, how do I incorporate it? And then I was like, well, I'm going to do this video, and this brow gel is seven bucks. So, honey, she's going in this video. Now, again, seven dollars released in three different shades. I have dark brown, and it says here that your eyebrows will appear fuller, and the infused cannabis sativa seed oil will help to nourish and protect the hairs interesting all right guys so you know what's crazy is this brow gel it's not half bad i really like the color i like the fullness that it gives the brows i think the only thing that i don't love about it is the um viscosity of it it is very thin so i'm getting like a little bit of color kind of flicking like up here here and a little over here and that's not entirely uncommon i don't feel like especially with a fresh bottle of brow gel um i feel like brow gel like mascara works really nice like after you've used it a few times and a little air has entered the tube so it gets a little bit thicker now moving on to eyes I have two different options here like I told you I wanted to go really nice light and have something that's a little bit sparkly a little bit fun and for that I chose a couple of different options um, for the first one are these little guys right here these are from the brand Halika Halika again I had never played with anything from them and it looks like there are five different shades of these they are eight dollars a piece and these are their foil shock shadows guys this is beautiful I don't know how well you can see that on camera this is the shade it looks like 05. It doesn't tell me what shade that is, but it's the shade 05. All right, and then this one right here is absolutely beautiful. I think I might like this one even more than the lighter toned one because this is like a party in a shadow. It's like, it has this beautiful, like rich kind of pearly pink base to it, like a peachy pink. I'm just trying to get you guys up close and personal here. Look at how beautiful those are, right? Can you see all the different colors that show up in that one? <sighs> Oh my God, I love it. Now, the other thing that I picked up here is from a brand I've never played with. This is from Beauty Gems, and this is their, what is this, Shimmering Eyeshadow Kit, and it is $9.99, so <laughs> under $10, and uh, it actually comes with three little individual shadows and a brush, which I thought was really cool. Um, I think it's kind of one of those plays on like a holiday kit, but it looked really nice, and the shades were super beautiful, and I'm like, girl, for 10 bucks, we gotta take a look. All right, so here is the flat little brush that it comes with. I would use this as something to like cut out my um, brow bone with. It's it's like the perfect profile for that and then let's take a look at these three individual pans here oh wow and they're like full pans too dang okay okay so here are the three shades they're not nearly as impactful as I thought they would be like do you see what I mean they have a little bit of shine like that top gold one does but the other two are just incredibly lackluster I feel like now just to be a little bit more fair I'm gonna go in with my um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer on my eyelids just because I do know a little bit better how that performs all right so with that on I think what I want to do first is actually go in with the two Halika shades and I'm gonna go in with the darker one first I'm just gonna take it on my finger and I'm not going to add any glitter glue or anything which I know you guys are probably like Ooh, why not but I just don't want it to be like super impactful like I don't want it to really cling and be really over the top because then it's not gonna match the rest of my face so I'm just lightly tapping it off here and I'm just going to press that um, shimmer shade into the wet concealer and that will help give it a little bit more brightness without hopefully it being like over the top or too much. Oh, I don't know that this likes being put on a wet concealer. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay guys, so off of camera, I tried a bunch of different things and I have some opinions, but first let me go ahead and tell you what I did right here to get this far. Um, I went ahead, I obviously reconcealed this eye. I did go ahead and set both of my eyes like the wet concealer with a powder just to make sure that I was working from like a clean clean canvas and then from there I did try to play around with this stuff some more but the problem with it is that I did not want to use a glitter glue as I mentioned because I was going for a really light look today as far as like the eyes go and I knew if I dove in with glitter glue that it was going to be like super intense and really impactful and that's not what I'm going for so I very specifically didn't bring it with me and now I can't get to it and need it so this right here I'm gonna have to table for another day but I did go ahead and grab this little guy right here the gold one out of that trio and I realized that when I switched watched it I didn't love the way that it looked it wasn't super impactful and I never spray my brushes because it never works for me really but I figured you know what if it's all we have let's give it a shot so I took the brush they included I sprayed it with a little bit of my spray here my face spray and it actually did give me a little bit of an easier time to lay the color down on the lids again it's still not super impactful and I don't know that I would recommend these shades just because I feel like they are so 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 natural um, but I was able to get a nice like even coating of it all over over the lid and then from there I do want to go in this is just a BH5 it's like a flat liner and I'm gonna go into this shade out of that trio 
and I am just going to take and run this color into my lash line up here. Just kind of really wiggle it in and smoke that color out. I don't want it to be, like I mentioned 52 times by now, hello, queen of repeating. Um, I don't want it to be overly intense or anything, but I do want there to be at least a little definition on the lash line. I'm also just going to run a little bit here on the lower lash line, just right up close to the lashes. Also, one guess who just realized she still had to do the other eye. <laughs> <laughs> me. All right, so with that on and applied, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't think that either of those are worth it. I think that the trios, for having literally no pigmentation to them at all, like as far as that nice like sheen factor goes, I just don't see those being worth 10 bucks. I, I know that only makes them $3 a piece, but for $3 in today's world, girl, you can get a lot of good things, and I just don't think for 10 bucks, I don't think that that's worth it. Wow, you guys. Wow. I have the gag of the century. So I bought this from Ulta, okay? This is the NYX Slay the Season Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. And I just picked it up and I was like, what even is this? Like, do you guys see how it's kind of square around here? All they did was take their normal matte finish setting spray and put it in a literal, like, this is cardboard. This is NYX. NYX. <laughs> we need to have a conversation. Well, now I'm a little bit bummed, guys. I was so excited to use this. This is my $11 item, the one that I was like, I'm so excited. This is from the Makeup Revolution. This is part of that Cannabis Sativa seed line, and it's their purifying priming water. And my little idiotic self thought that this was a regular setting spray, so that's fun. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. You can even use this as a pick-me-up throughout the day to liven up your skin. Yep, there we go. Boom. Consider it a pick-me-up. Let's check that spray. Ooh, not bad. Smell is very light. Okay, not mad at it. Let's do it. For highlight, I don't have anything new, so I'm just going to grab my e.l.f. highlight here. This is in white gold, and I'm just going to fan that onto my face. All right, now, given the way everything is looking on my face right now, I'm going to go ahead and set again with my Catrice. I'm actually going to also take a little bit of that Catrice on my sponge right here and see if I can help with, like, the dryness that I'm seeing on my under eye. And again, I don't know if that's the concealer or what that is, but there's, like, this weird dry like situation that I'm seeing up under here and I use dry concealers or like drier more matte finish concealers all the time and this just is not something I'm totally used to seeing. Now moving on to mascara we're gonna be testing out this guy also from the Makeup Revolution Cannabis Sativa Seed line. This is their blowout mascara. It is $10 currently having two reviews giving it five out of five stars and it says that the dense bristled brush layers each and every eyelash creating thicker more voluminous lashes in an iridescent oil slick bottle. You can chill out knowing that your lashes are going to be on point. Okay guys as someone who just spent the last literally 20 minutes applying this mascara I have some thoughts. Number one, it's not a bad mascara. It is very, very lengthening, which is nice, um, but it's not something to wear um, if you like any sort of volume at all, you like them a little spidery or even a little thicker, you will not like this. Again, I think it does a nice job with the lengthening side of things. I just don't think it's great when it comes to like volume and intensity. Um, and believe me when I tell you, I just built this up. This is six coats six coats on both my upper lashes right here and right here. For me, I just think that if I'm going to go in with that many coats of mascara, girl, there needs to be a little bit more um, to it than that. Uh, but I do think that because it's more lengthening on the lower lash line, it looks really, really nice. All right, and now moving on to lips, I have an adorable little gloss kit. Kapoo! Look at how cute this is, guys. It comes with three glosses and a little coin purse right here. It's very like, you know, maybe little kid kind of makeup, but I just thought this was so cute and I love a good gloss. So this is also from the brand Beauty Gems and this is their I Love lip gloss kit. It is $9.99 and uh, that's pretty much uh, pretty much all there is on that. So I just went ahead and I left the coin purse on the floor. You know, I, I filed it very neatly. And uh, now look at these little glosses. Look at those little heart shapes. Oh my god, it's so cute. But those are the three right there. You can see there's a clear, well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a clear one right here, brown tone, and then like a pinky tone right there. I think I am going to go in with the brown tone because that'll match me the best. Uh, hello? Where's the color? <laughs> Look, guys, I literally can't see it. And it feels like lotion. Why does it... 
Why does it feel like lotion? No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. But all right, beautiful people, this is the finished look. I went ahead, I wiped that lip off, and I went in with just a little bit of this. This is one of the L'Oreal Color Reach lipsticks. This is in 902 Dazzling Doe. It's just a nice little light brown moment, and I just wanted something that would kind of tie everything together without being over the top or dramatic or anything. I still really like the way that everything turned out, again, even with having to change up the lip. Um, I think as far as the products go, I'm not overly wowed by a lot of these. Um, I think that there are certain ones that I need to play with more, like the concealer I definitely need to play with more, and then those little eye things from, what is it, Hanuka or Halika? Halika Halika. I definitely need to play with those a little bit more. I didn't like either of the things from Beauty Gems, those little trios of the lip glosses or the eyeshadows. I don't think those are worth it. But I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you guys think? Do you like the way everything turned out? Do you like the nice kind of lighter, more natural-esque side of Paige? She's been playing around with it a lot lately, and girl, she's having a real good time doing it. But what do you guys think? Leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you like this video? Was it fun for you guys? Did you get to see any products you were curious about in, like, what was new at Ulta under 10 bucks? If you haven't done so yet, most importantly of all, I would love it if you would subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. on my time here in good old northern Michigan. And we talk about everything, new makeup, old makeup, makeup we love, makeup we hate. We, 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 do, we, just, we do all kinds of things. And oh my god, you guys, in this week, I don't know if you have seen it yet or not, but girl, there's another advent calendar unboxing and like, because <sighs> I love advent calendar unboxings and it's just like, so stick around. More of my story is you want to stick around because uh, we just, we have a lot of good times here and it's fun. And, and just, just just be here, okay? It's hurtful if you don't love me. It's just, it really hurts my feelings. A lot. But anyways, you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! This is so rude of you to drive by like that, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm really offended. Just like, okay, Mike is on. Sit, baby. Sit, baby. <laughs> now, okay. As you saw in the title, we're going to be... Well, today, today, guys, we are done. Just really kicking.